What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. I'm a bit disappointed man. I can't even hide it. It's early. We've got up to do this rummy pack and I thought that rummy was going to be coming with at least one other good player but I'm disappointed man. Let me know what you guys think as well. But we're going to get into a review. We've got the new Bayern Munich boosters. It's a full Bayern pack. We've got rummy, we've got Honus and we have Claudio Pizarro. Now listen lads, there's a couple of things even to talk about with this rummy card that I'm not really too happy with but I'm kind of torn as to like my full, the full picture to him yet because I do feel like that this card could have been, we could have had it all lads, this could have been an unbelievable card, especially for people that missed out on his previous version, but we're going to get into that, it's also included in a pack of other players, there's one or two notable players to talk about in that, but for all intents and purposes boys, this was going to be a pack for Rummy, was Michael Owen going to come, was Ronaldinho going to come? It seems to be that they've gone the full Bayern route. Obviously, maybe to tie in with the Bayern anniversary, uh, which was on a couple of days ago or last week or whatever. But it's just some of the decisions that they've made with these cards, in my opinion, are kind of a little bit strange. So we're going to get straight into the cards, boys. Let's just crack on and straight into the cards here. They're in a pack of 150 as normal. And of course, we are going to have those boosters. So there's 150 players in this pack. And these are the, the picks here. So you've got Romy, Hunas, Hunas, and Pizarro. So... There's in, they're also in with these packs here, so you've got the likes of Jesus, you've got the Kettler, you've got Cherky, who's a good card in fairness to him, I mean none of these have boosters, but he's got everything else, you know, double touch, soul control, heel trick, doesn't have flip, flip flap, but you could give him that, it's not a big deal with these cards. These are actually some of the better selections that they've had, I mean, if you're looking for something standard enough to have, but again only 30 levels, which is quite disappointing. But I'm not even going to waste your time, boys. I'm going to go straight into the Legends. And we're going to actually start with Pizarro. Because he's probably the surprise pack package of this pack, if that makes sense. So he's got a wavering form. He's got shooting plus two. And also on top of that, he actually does have first time shot and one touch pass. I just can't understand. He's got super sub and area superiority. I'm trying to kind of... I'm trying not to go into Rummy too deep yet before we go to Pizarro. But I just can't understand how Rummy doesn't have one touch pass, man. I... I it makes no sense for the card based on his other, his other uh, stats and his other skill set. Um, but Pizarro does actually have a fox in the box card here. And if we are going to be training him up, we're actually going to show you a little training guide here of him. So that's what he looks like here. I'm going to hide my webcam here for a second. Sorry, boys. I'm all over the place, man. I'm a bit disappointed. I don't know can I hide it uh, with Rummy because it's definitely a pack where you're going to have to go like one player out of 150. I know that Pizarro is not a bad player when you look at his stats here. But, you know, forgetting about his speed and his physical contact, he does have a 90 with his ball control and dribbling. Obviously, they're going to go. You don't even need to go that high because of his boosters. Um, but the tight possession to go to 88 and then the manager boost to plus two is going to be nice. And, of course, he will have the finishing at 90 as well. But these strikers, man, with these sort of stats are a dime a dozen. I know players sometimes play above their stats. I know players sometimes play differently on the pitch. But for all, for all kind of like... For most of the time, you don't need these players. Like, you don't need to spin for these, in my opinion. You just don't need to spin from. If you're looking for somebody like this, and you've been playing the game for six months, you probably have a player like this sitting in your bench, in your squad, that you haven't played in a while, you know? So, um, that lack of kind of assassin-type centre-forward that we thought we were going to be getting, it is disappointing. And it's the same with uh, Honus as well. I think that's how you pronounce his name, boys. I apologise if I'm butchering it. But this guy has got insane uh, stats... Uh, looks kind of really nice in game as well, whole player AMF, and he's down with B rating with unwavering form, but he's got weak foot accuracy at high as well, which is quite nice, and you're looking at this card and you're thinking, yeah, he can play right winger, he can play AMF, it's a very nice card, but then you go into his player skills, and he doesn't have one touch pass again, I mean, what's going on, man, whole playing, attacking midfielder, he's got true passing, and he's got acrobatic finishing and first time shot ahead of one touch pass, or low lofted pass. I know, listen, I know people will say like, oh, well, you know, this guy was more of a kind of a run and gun style player than a Kevin De Bruyne kind of in the hole, you know, picking teams apart with like nice cue passes. I get that. But when you're given, you know, one touch pass to other players that are similar and sometimes they don't even deserve one touch pass, I mean, you have to kind of give it to players. Like, there is no real attraction to signing this guy if you've got any decent hole playing attacking midfielder in the game that has one touch pass. I know you can give him one touch pass, and he could turn into a monster. There's no doubt about that. 
I mean, a lot of these players, you could be having egg in your face when you're giving like reviews on them and you're talking about them because you can actually turn these players into beasts. I know that we'll see combinations of Pizarro and this guy probably getting like five or six goals and assists a game. And that's that's kind of irrelevant to the point. It's You're talking about players, judging players as they should be. And I just feel like that apart from his finishing and his um, balance and speed and acceleration, which you see here, we're going to show you here, I think this card again is disappointing, man. There's too much work to be done with him at this stage in the game. You know, you have to invest into one-touch pass and a couple of other skills if you want to turn him into kind of like that meta-style AMF. And let's be honest, I mean, most people that are spinning now with the way the game is um, and how long the game has been out before the new one comes out or before the new season comes out, it is people going to be looking to give themselves that little extra edge, uh, you know, with it. Because this guy played back in the 70s, man. So it's not like it's Prime Zidane, you know, that you could say like, oh, but it's Prime Zidane, I can play without a one-touch pass in him, I'll just give him one-touch pass, or, you know, giving Romario flip-flap or soul control or whatever so you can have the ball roll. There's a lot to be done with this card when you probably have a better or equal attacking midfielder on the bench, you know, that you can just use. Um, you know, even like Pedri or somebody like that can do a job like this with the tight possession and the ball control and that mixture of passing and acceleration while still having that player skills. So that's just a little guide that we've done there. Then you've got Pizarro with 8, uh, 0, 10, 11, 6, and 1, and then Honus with 6, 12, 13, 6, and 4. But listen, all eyes are going to be on Rummy. Now, this is probably the card that most people are waiting for, right? He's got very high weak foot accuracy. I think that's going to paper over a lot of cracks with this card. It's got 33 levels of the card. It's got a slightly updated face in terms of the coloring and stuff, but his face is pretty much the same as his last uh, card. And th this, look, for people that don't get the attraction with Rummy, I mean, I had Rummy last in PES 2021 in, the, in, in my club, and he was just a goal a game. Like, he was kind of Romario-esque, but I don't see this card getting near to Romario because of where the gameplay is at. Now, could they change stuff in the gameplay? We're going to be talking about that in the stream later. Could this change stuff in the gameplay uh, for Season 5? Yes, I do think that they will. And I'm going to be doing a huge video on training every player in every position, from goalkeepers to centre forwards, how to retrain them with the free reset. But this card, man, again, he does have first-time shot, but he doesn't have... Um, or sorry, he does have acrobatic finishing, but he does have double touch as well. But he doesn't have a lot of shooting. You know, he doesn't He doesn't have long-range curler. Uh, he doesn't have dip and shot, but he has rising shot. He's got track back and fight and spirit without one touch pass. It's just strange, man. And he does have 33 levels, and I do like his card uh, when we look at it here, right? And we look at his build. You can actually, with the booster, even forgetting the booster, but you've got offensive awareness, finishing, speed, acceleration, balance, all going to be into the 90s. But the tight possession is going to be a bit of a concern with this card, and the ball control is going to be a bit of a concern with this card as well, based on what we already have. If you've got Romario, if you've got those type of players that you're used to running and gunning with, and that's what Rummy's actually real strength are. So... I think, yeah, I think that this card is a bit of a disappointing one. I know that he's got the the nice stat line of the speed and the acceleration. Now, you can obviously turn him into a super, 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 super Sonic the Hedgehog type uh, speed. But I do feel that even though he's got acrobatic finishing and heading, I do feel that he's going to be slightly harder to use than Romario. Now, again, we have this debate ongoing the whole time. Romario versus Rafael Leao. Now, Rummy will be in that or Samuel Eto'o. Or Michael Owen, the old BT, BT uh, Samuel, uh, Samuel Eto'o and Michael Owen. And all those type of players that can do a job for you. But yeah, I have to say, man, if you're going to be looking to spin for Rummy, you are going to have a 1 in 150 chance of getting him. And along, along the lines with these players, man, you know, like the likes of Kingsley Coman and those guys, these are good cards. But at this stage in the game, man, you already should have better cards than these. Honestly, if you're spinning and say, oh, I want Jesus... I mean, there is no real point in doing that and taking the chance when you can buy or you probably already have a Jesus card in your journey so far. So, yeah, it's an interesting one, man, and it's a very strange one. And I think a lot of people are going to be a little disappointed that they might potentially have to empty the box and open 149 other players that they probably won't ever use just to get rummy. So, yeah, it's an interesting one, man. But let me know what you guys think. I will be back live streaming later, boys. Let me know. I'm trying to... I don't know. I'm trying to kind of like keep an open mind that if I do get him in like two or three spins, let me know if you guys are going to spin or you're going to skip because this is a this is a hard one. I was planning on doing, you know, a big spin pack today for Rummy. I said I'd go deep for him. We had a couple of donos the last day. 
But I'm kind of torn, man. I really am torn because I've got Romario and there's nobody else in this box that I really do want. So let me know what you guys think. Until then, I will see you in the live stream later. Don't forget to subscribe to keep your notifications on. Peace.